Hello guys! In this video, we're going to talk about the overview of Admin Panel in Google Analytics 4. Now before we begin, please hit that like button to show us your support and help our videos reach more people. Now let's get started. Do you know where you can configure your Google Analytics 4 features? Under Admin, you can manage and configure accounts, properties, and views. The admin page in Google Analytics will give you access to the Analytics administrative features. So log into your Google Analytics account, then click on Admin. Under Account, you may notice that you can create a new account here. Just input the data from this section and then submit this form. Account Settings allow you to view the basic settings of your account, such as the account ID, account name, country of business, and the data sharing settings that you have shared with Google. Account Access Management shows the users that you have added who can access your account. You can add users and select their roles such as Administrator, Editor, Analyst, Viewer, or None. Under Property, you may notice a button where you can create a new property. This drop-down list shows you the different properties that are created on this Google account. For each property in this list, you can set different data features that you can find here. For each property in this list, you can set different data features that you can find here. Setup Assistant shows you the features for your new property. This property shows that you are still using the Universal Analytics property. The Data Collection shows you to collect website and app data. The Property Settings shows the settings for turning on Google Signals. Set up conversions, defining audiences, and manage users. Under Google Ads, it shows features such as the link to Google Ads, bid on GA4 conversions, and target ads to GA4 audiences. The advanced setup is optional. It shows more features such as import data, link to BigQuery, user ID, and measurement protocol. Google Signals are session data from sites and apps. It enables cross-platform reporting, remarketing with Google Analytics. It provides deeper insights on your customers using Google data such as enhanced audience and demographics reporting. It also includes all existing advertising features such as demographics and interest report and remarketing. Data Streams shows a list of data collection streams that we have created. You may also add a new stream here. You may choose platforms to create a data collection, such as the iOS app, Android app, or web. If you have already created a web data stream and you decided to add another web stream, it might lead to inconsistent results. Data settings shows the data collection, data retention, and data filters. Data collection shows Google signals, granular location, and device data collection. The data retention shows user and event data retention. You can add event data retention and choose from this duration. Data filters show you the filter types such as internal traffic. You can deactivate or activate the filter here. Data import allows you to upload data from external sources and join it with your analytics data. You can create a data source. You can write a data source name here. The data type shows cost data, item data, user data by user ID or client ID, or even offline event data. Below, upload the CSV file for importing it on your Google Analytics account. Reporting identity determines which method you would like to identify your users, such as blended or observed. Attribution settings show the reporting attribution model and a look back window. The attribution model is used to calculate conversion credit in your reports within the analytics property. This affects conversion and revenue data. If you need help to make courses and training, we have a marketing app that can help you create your own online courses that actually get sales. Create amazing courses with Udemy Great Customer Experience. It includes profit and conversion boosting plugins. It integrates a popular payment system. It even supports video courses on any platform. It has a rich interaction with built-in comments, reviews, and questions. Create awesome courses. It would be easy for you to set up, and your students will love the user-friendly experience. Access dozens of ready-made templates for everything. 
customize your course themes to make it feel unique with your branding. Students can resume course playback where they left it. So try Course Funnels now. Go to the URL getcoursefunnels.in. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.